guys, it's Amy and welcome to a brand new episode inside of Amy Lee's Land of Love and a very happy Saturday to all of you guys. I'm so excited because it's autumn. I know it's been autumn for quite some time, but you know, it still excites me. I love it. It's my most favorite season in the whole world. I love it. I love walking down the street and hearing all those autumn leaves crunch beneath my feet. Do you guys like autumn? What are your favorite things about autumn? And also Halloween is just right around the corner. What could be better? Other than Christmas maybe, but still, I think I prefer Halloween over Christmas because I'm crazy and I love it. <laughs> you guys got any cool Halloween plans? Are you going to any parties or trick-or-treating? Let me know. Anyway, we better get on with the episode before I get yelled at for taking forever with my intro, which uh, I'm pretty famous for doing. Uh, where is Bert? Bertha? Oh, here's Bert. Hey, Bert. How are you, my darling? Are you looking for the block of the day? Oh, have you found it, Bert? Oh. <gasps> Which one is it? Oh, he's looking. I thought he spotted one over here, but he swiftly changed his mind. What one is it? Oh, is it is it that one? Oh, bird. I can see why you might like this one. Look at the pattern. Oh, the color is just magnificent, bird. Ooh. Okay, no, he's got bored of that one. He's walked away. Okay, well, where's Bertha then? Um. But, oh, Bertha, you're over here. Hey, Bertha. Hey, Bertha, it's me. It's Amy. Bertha. Bertha? Bertha, I'm right here. There we go. Good job, Bertha. Your eyeballs are shining as brightly as my lovely, jubbly, love, love petal. They are indeed. And the carpet. The carpet is as red as your beautiful eyeballs, Bertha. I love you, my darling. Have a lovely day. Right, let's go see the doggies and, of course, the kitty cats too. And give them all their breakfast. And then we'll get on with today's episode. We've got a fun one planned as per usual and star what are you doing down there with all the doggies you crazy kitty cat good morning comet how are you darling and good morning saturn good job oh no i've got no more fishies left oh dear what am i gonna do okay uh well star maybe you'll have to come with me uh, <laughs> because i've actually run out of fishies um all right then well how is my doggy crew today are you all doing good i do hope so would you guys like some baked potato no. All right. How about some steak? <laughs> I love steak. Good morning, little Max. How are you doing, cutie patootie? We have little Lola over here, the winner of last week's Twitchy Dog. Um, any babies happening? No, that's good. We have Mars. All right. Now you're sitting up, Mars. <laughs> we have Lexi. Good job. Sit back down, Lexi. We have Storm. We have Romeo. There we go, Romeo. Sit back down. Sit down, Romeo. Romeo, sit down. Good job. We can't have any more babies. Not for a while. <laughs> We've got too many. We have Romeo. Uh, I'm sorry, Boomer. We have uh, Luna. Uh, how can I, like, not get you guys mixed up half the time, honestly? We have Destiny. Good job, Destiny. And we have Sailor. Uh, last but not least. Okay, so we did play Twitchy Dog last episode and it was uh, Lola that won. So I think I'm going to go and pick somebody today. And I think we should bring Star because I'm out of um, <laughs> fish. Uh, so hopefully maybe we can go fishing on the way. Um, and I think I might bring Storm because... Wait, Storm, what's going on? No babies? We um, Storm is the latest addition to our doggy family. And we just haven't got to know them... Um, Storm, you look, you, you, <laughs> you and Romeo look really crazy. You look like an alien. Yeah, we don't know too much about Storm, so this will be a great opportunity to get to know Storm more. Uh, let's go see Mittens, Mr. Frost, and Blizzard as well. Hello. Hello, Mittens. Oh, Mittens is coming. All right, I'm going to shut the door. Mittens, how are you, darling? Oh, don't give me the cold shoulder. Mittens. What's wrong, Mittens? You know I love you. No, Mittens, no, no. You know I love you. You can't even pretend. Stop being silly. Would you like to go down to the fun house today? You want to go outside? I can't let you outside, Mittens, because I have a lot of work to do and you're very naughty and mischievous and I have to keep my eyeball on you the whole time. I do. You can't even deny it, Mittens. You're crazy. Don't get upset. It's normal. Hello, Mr. Frost and hello, Blizzard. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what. Why don't you go down to the fun house? Mittens, stop being sad. Look. I'm letting you go down to the fun house, okay? Oh, I hear a spider. There's a spider down there. 
I don't know. Oh, no, it's outside. Hello, big spider. <laughs> Loves it. All right, well, I need to go. Uh, oh, criminy. You got mittens. Did you make Mr. Frost and Blizzard cover up the door so I couldn't get out? That's not very good. Mittens, tell them to come back. I see something glitching. Is that star? Mr. Frost, Blizzard, come on. You're the good golems. You don't behave this way. Exactly. Good job. You listen to mummy. You don't listen to that naughty mittens. Come on. Out the way now. Come on. Come on, I, I can squeeze past you. I, I, uh, oh no, all right. Well, you know what? One of you is out, you might as well all come out. Just don't cause a lot of mess. Mittens, I'm talking to you, all right? All right, come on then, Star. Let's get on out of here and go see Grandfather Oak and get our story. Uh, Storm, are you with us as well? Good job. Okay, very many, okay. <laughs> Star, where did you go, buddy? Um, Okay, you're here. Can I give you anything? I mean, I picked up some chicken earlier that was lying on the floor um maybe i do have some more fishy in the kitchen let me have a little look uh what do we got bread pet food oh look at that we have so many fishies i cannot quite even there we go star star come in there we go good job all right so now let's go and get our story from grandfather oak uh one of the greatest things i look forward to every day uh, come on then. Oh, cry many. I cannot keep up with your teleportation. Imagine if mittens could TP. It'd be absolutely terrifying, wouldn't it? Ugh, it wouldn't be fun. All right, come on then, guys. Let's sit down for our story. Good job, Storm. And Star, you come in. You want to sit there? Good job. Good morning, Grandfather Oak. Have a lovely, jubbly, love, love, petal. Grandfather Oak, you're looking spiffing. Can you please tell us a story? Can you please tell us a story all about, uh... Oh, a dog! A dog right that wears a cowboy hat and he is um purple and he lives on mars and he likes to travel to all the other planets and make friends with the weirdest creatures can you tell me all about some of the weird creatures that he meets please grandfather oak oh grandfather oak that was an amazing story i really liked the blue and green giraffe that had spaghetti for hair that lived on uh, Pluto, which was really, really interesting. Thank you so very much for the weird story, Grandfather Oak. I love it. <laughs> if you guys hear Grandfather Oak's weird stories, don't forget to send me a picture on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. All the links should be somewhere on my channel or in the description. Uh, but anyway, it is time to go see the cute recruit patch to see who is today's cutie patootie and of course they are very adorable because all my cute recruits are just totally adorable the cutie we are adding this week is erin yay we are adding erin because she sent me this awesome picture you can see it on screen right about now it's of the land of love how cute is that there's me and grandfather oak and there's also jinx from my amy and max series luckily jinx doesn't live in the land of love because i think she'll destroy it with her evilness and pancakes oh, wait that 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 sounded a lot like jinx or that might have been my crazy imagination or just me being paranoid i don't know but i'm kind of scared jinx no, she's not here. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Thank you so very much, Aaron, for your awesome picture. And welcome to the cute recruit patch, you cutie. But do we? Okay, so now we do need to get on with some work. Um, in the last episode, we got ourselves some new pets. We got ourselves our very first llamas. And today we need to build them uh, somewhere for them to live. And I've been trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Um, and I've realized exactly how flat the land of love is there's not many like buildings that are higher up or on hills or mountains so i i kind of want to redo this whole farm area and just raise it up a little bit just to give it a little bit of volume you know what i mean um so the llama enclosure or llama house um i thought would be really good to build up high so i started doing it off camera uh, as you can see uh, just about here uh and what we need to do is uh what kind of wood we want the oak wood we're going to build a border going all the way around. This will be where it starts, uh, the stairs. So we're going to build a build, build a border going all the way around here. Um, and then this will be like a field or a paddock. And we'll build like a little stable house as well. So it should be really fun. And oh my goodness, the sun is going down already. Where's Stargo? 
Star? That's a great name, Stargo. I like it. Ooh, maybe we should uh, name something Stargo. Oh, there you are. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly do this before night falls on us completely. And, you know, before the monsters come and murder us all. Yeah, right. Let me get a uh, axe and knock this down. Um, and hopefully we can finish this just before night comes. All right, let's do it. <laughs> What's the best thing to do now? Do you guys think we should sleep just in case any beasties come? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. All right, so come along. Uh, what are you, are you saying there? Are you glitched? I think Star may be a little glitch right now. Uh, okay, so you can stay on the chest if you want. I mean, I don't really like the idea of leaving you here. Um, but I do think we do need to sleep before all the beasties come. So uh, Storm and I are going to go to Peace Pig's uh, garden. Um, and sleep in there, okay? Uh, right, just be on the lookout. We don't want any beasties. No beasties! Uh, luckily I don't see any, <laughs> which is great. Saying that, there'll probably be a million creepers in here. No! No creepers? Oh, you're here, Star. Good job. Everyone okay? Hey, Peace Pig, wherever you are. Hey, Peace Chicken. Okay, uh, Star, come on. Star, come in. Quick, Star, come on. Star, get your little butt in! Good job, Star. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep in the tent. All right, good night, everybody. Ah, oh, Star, you're so cute. And good morning. Where is Peace Pig and Peace Chicken? Uh, Peace... Oh, hello, Peace Pig. How are you doing, my darling? Oh, you're looking lovely. So zenful. Have a poppy. That <laughs> loves it. And give my love to Peace Chicken. I can't stick around. We've got a lot of work to do and not a lot of time left. Um, but we've done uh, a really good start so far. Right, you two come along. Um, and we'll go back to the little llama uh, place and already it's looking good. I like all the wood effect See what I also want to do is get rid of the village because <laughs> Funnily enough when I started to build my house all the villagers kind of left <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they wanted me as um, a uh, You know a, a what do you call it a land not a landlord a neighbor. They didn't want me living here It's kind of sad Just saying. All right, so we want to make some stairs uh, that's not enough, is it? We need to also figure out the middle. Um, and what is the middle of this? Um, I have no idea. Okay, let's just guess, I guess. Guess, I guess. Hey. Uh, let's go for what looks middle-ish. Uh, maybe like here uh, and here. All right, let me count and I'll see uh, if I can work out the middle. All right, this should be the middle, I do believe. Uh, so we want to build this out a little bit so we can have some stairs uh, going from the top. Uh don't go the weird way. There we go. Fantastic. And then again on here. Uh, and we're just going to bring this out uh, until we can climb at the top of it. Are you okay there, Star? I think Star is happy. Uh, let's get a few more stairs. Um, Crimey, you really do use a lot of wood for stairs, don't you? I never quite realised how much. Um, okay, put that there. Wicked cool. Uh, and uh, Wrong one. Wrong one, Amy Lee. 33. Wrong one. There we go. Awesome. Um, and go this around, and, oh, criminy, this is, <laughs> this is quite a long staircase, uh, I wasn't expecting it to be, uh, this long, but it is, okay, um, yeah, okay, right, loves it, right, nearly done, come out the way, Storm, good job, Storm, good job, uh, bring this out just a little bit more, uh, and we're nearly, nearly, nearly done it, uh, one more there, and one more, uh, here, okay, groovy, so don't worry about all this lot, because, like I say, this part is going soon. Um, the villagers have just left, so uh, we don't. We, we have no need for this. In fact, we can just take some of the wheat now. Uh, we don't even need to replant. Oh my goodness, Amy, what are you doing, you little rebel? Aha, loves it. Um, don't get too distracted, Amy, because you need to do uh, the house for the llamas. Uh, so let me just do a little bit. There we go. Cool. Uh, I do want to move this out of the way. Actually, no, no, don't worry about it just yet. Okay, so that's groovy. So next thing we need to do is actually build some fences. Um, and I don't know if I have enough now, so I may have to be in Birchwood. Uh, so let's go over here and turn this into sticks, like so. Uh, and we want to make some fences. And why do I always forget how to make fences? I'm so terrible with fences. I mean, how do you even... Uh, that's a gate. All right. Okay, I get that. So how do the hecky pet? Why do I always forget to make fences? I don't understand. It's like the easiest thing in the world to make. 
Oh, it's like that. Okay. Uh, I'm sure that's changed yet. It hasn't always been that way, has it? Or has it? And I'm just being weird. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. All right, so I don't think that'll be enough, but it'll be enough just for now. Oh, I kind of like that it's birch fence. We don't really use different color um, wood and stuff. So this is really interesting. Okay, so let's make it like, let's have the fence starting here. Because we're going to have this bit as a gate into the enclosure. So let's bring this round like that and then round here. And then uh, we need some kind of house uh, because we don't, uh, well, we don't want the poor llamas getting soggy in the rain. So we do need to build them some kind of like a little house or something. Uh, some kind of like stable, I guess, would be a great idea. Uh, if we get ourselves a uh, shovel, we can like mine out or dig out some of the mountain here. And uh, make it just a little bit uh, nice and smoother. I need to <laughs> start. I kind of need to get in there, darling. Can 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 you budge? Can that? Thank you, Star. That's very kind of you. Let me take the wood with me. Um. All right. So yeah, let me see what I can do. I just need to have a little think. Uh, if I smooth this out just like a little bit. Um. Let me just have some food just so I have some energy. Uh. Yeah. If I maybe take a block or two uh, widths away. Um, then maybe, yeah, I've got an idea. Alright, so let's remove this stuff. Um, and then we need to fix all that up. And then we can build ourselves a nice little shelter. Alrighty then. So let me just fix this up just a second. Uh, there we go. That looks great. And then the same on this side. Because uh, there's a massive, like, well, not massive. <laughs> there's a little uh, hole down there. So let's just uh, fill this up. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, so we may need to go and get some more birch wood. Um, actually, no, I do believe I have some of the uh, actual tree wood. What's it called? Like the bark, I think, will be really good. In fact, that would be a really good, like, border. Won't it? Yeah, look, I have loads of it. Okay, problem solved. Uh, right, so if we go on up here and... Um, hmm, maybe, oh, maybe I should really fix the fencing first. All right, so let me... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to bring this crafting table upstairs because it's annoying me being down here because I have to keep going up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down so let me <laughs> Amy is so crazy let's put this down and fix up or finish up the fences and then I'll know exactly what to do um because yeah right now it's all like all over the place and I don't even know uh right so let's do that Alrighty then all right so this is looking really really cool uh, so let's get some of this birch wood and what we're gonna do is start building like a little stable house uh, So if we go like one here um, And then we want oh, we don't have an awful lot of wood left though. That's the only thing uh, Let's go around like this um, And how big does it need to be? I mean llamas aren't massive creatures So it doesn't need to be mahusu. It just need to be uh, <laughs> just big enough to house them uh, Okay uh, that's not so great, Amy. Come on, darling. I love how this looks almost like Dalmatian spots. You know what I mean? Like in a like a doggy Dalmatian. Looks really, really cool. Okay, so uh, we're going to build this up. Uh, I'm going to have to fast forward time because we're, <laughs> we're already running out of uh, time for this episode. So let's speed things up and get this built. <laughs>
it's very simple but very effective i like it so uh, we are running real uh <laughs> running out of a lot of time for this episode and i definitely want to get the llamas here before the episode ends so all we really need to do which i can do off camera is i want to make like uh, i've got lots of hay and straw we can put down i want to make like a little place where they can have water we also need to make sure that they can't actually climb out of here in fact we should probably do that right now um i'm guessing they can't jump over two blocks um unless they are super incredible crazy gooseberries um so let's just build this up a little bit just to make sure they can't escape on us and then let's go and get them if you didn't meet them in the last episode you're in for a treat they are totally adorable we also need to make a couple of gates um but i will do that in a short time so let's go on over and collect our llamas i'm so excited to see them again they are so super adorable <laughs> shut the door oh, i'm sorry storm okay you can come on in i don't know where star <laughs> stars out there this is pop tart look how cute she is i love her she's like a little princess and then um where's chewy uh here he is this is chewbacca or chewy for short look how cute he is i love him uh, so what we need to do now is find a couple of leashes and we should have some i hope in our tack room uh so let's go and have a little look and we've got plenty geez okay this is great uh so let's take a couple of leashes we may only need one what's what's is that supposed to be that's that why would i do that that's so weird um we may only need one leash because apparently llamas like to follow each other once one is leashed or something i don't know um but let's go and get chewy first all right chewy i've got you a new home my darling okay thank you ponies for looking after him come on then chewy good job uh and then let's just see if um oh, maybe we should just come back for pop tart because i don't want to risk it although i think she's i think she's kind of ready do you want to come pop tart um oh no okay no no we should do one at a time one at a time because already that leash is broke and i really can't risk losing uh, losing any of them all right come on chewy you first come on good job right let's get you to your new home <laughs> Chewy, what do you think? This is your new home, isn't it lovely? Don't you just love it? You've got such a great view of the land of love. Look at it. It's wonderful. Right, let me get some food. Um, and uh, I then better go and get Pop-Tart because we've obviously left her <laughs> back at the other stables. So let me just uh, make sure you can't escape for a second. I know this probably sounds really mean. Um, I have to lock you in just for a second. Right, let me go get Pop-Tart. <laughs> Are you ready, Pop Tart? Let's get you home. Look how super cute you are. I cannot quite even. Oh my goodness. Right, let's. Oh, Crimey. She's a fast one. She's a feisty one. Come on. Pop Tart, that's it. Outside here. Pop Tart, where are you? <laughs> Pop Tart, come on. Oh no. Pop Tart, you broke the leash. Come on. You're going to see Chewy again. <gasps> what if you two can have babies? Oh my goodness. Can they have babies? What do they need to have babies? We need to know this. Uh, come on. Pop Tart, you can't see here. This is the horse's house, okay? This is the horsey stable. All right, that's it. Come on then, Pop Tart. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're having more llama trauma. Pop Tart, come on, this way. That's it, that's it. Outside we go. Pop Tart, oh my goodness. Can you even? Uh, we've broken another leash. Um, okay, well, uh, this is a little bit harder than I thought. Come on, Pop Tart. That's it. That's it. Good job. And then we go out here. Come on, that's it, Storm. You help. Okay, um, this, this is going to be a little bit of a problem. Pop-Tart, can you... Pop-Tart, come on! What's wrong with you, crazy gooseberry? Pop-Tart, come on, that's it. Uh, what if I actually just push you out and then we'll leash you? Um, Pop-Tart... <laughs> See, I can, I can get on the llamas, but I can't control them. So, uh, uh, yeah, I can't really ride them. Although, obviously, I can. I, it makes no difference. Anyway, run away! Let's go! Chewie's escaped! Oh, crimey. Okay, let's get these guys in. Come on, Chewie. Come on. Come on, Chewie. That's it. Good job. Um, And then let me just put this back up again. All right, Groovy. You're all good, guys. You're all good. All right, so now I need to make a fence. Um, And we know how to make a fence, don't we? Because 
because we uh, couldn't make the gate. Oh no, not the fence, the gate. How do, oh no, now I won't be able to figure it out. Um, okay, uh, how do we make a gate again? Uh, isn't it uh, like this? Oh, a gate, okay, great. So we need uh, two gates so I can get in and out a little bit easier. Um, so that should be two right there. And where did they go? There they are. Okay, loves it. So let me just get rid of this. And this will put a gate here. And then a gate here. Okay, loves it. Wow, what a very long episode. But look at that beautiful sunset. What a way to end the episode. What do you guys think? Do you love your new little house? Where'd Style go? Uh, I love that name. We need to call a pet Stargo. It's such a great name. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm sure she's around somewhere. Uh, well, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. And also, don't forget to check out www.amyleaf33.co.uk for some wicked, ultra cool, official autographed merchandise. And also, don't forget, more importantly, that I love you guys very much. <laughs> Goodbye.